All right, and today we are going to be checking out another Series 3 bot bot. This time around, we are looking at Clawsome. Uh, Clawsome here is actually part of the uh, the special Arcade Renegades pack that uh, was a, sort of a special, like, 16 pack that they did in, um, in Series 3 that had eight original molds, him being one of them, and then eight, uh, depending on, like, which version of the set you picked up, it was, like, a variation between repaints of old molds and then like just basically straight up reissues of older bot bots from previous series but he is one of the the unique ones that came in every set and uh he turns into a little crane claw grab machine here and uh it's it's okay the one complaint i have about it and like i kind of understand why it is this way but like the claw a claw machine is obviously like clear so to get the effect of having both the toys and stuff in there, they just have like the the tampo graph like little you know image on the back that has a bunch of other little bot bots and that's cool. But if you actually want to see that it's a claw machine, you have to look at it from this side so you can see the little joystick that you use and then the claw, which is like simulated to be on the inside of the machine. So like I'm not really totally sure which side is supposed to be the front. Because, like, if this is the front, it's got that detail, but you can't tell it's a claw machine. And if this is the front, you can see the joystick and the claw, but you can't see any of the toys inside. So it's like, eh, eh. I guess, like, it's not a bad complaint that it's got good things going on on both sides, but it's just a shame that they couldn't find a way to have, you know, the best of both worlds on, on one side so there's a clear front and back. But, you know, kind of a weird complaint, but, you know, it, uh, it's a little a little strange. Um, to transform this guy, he's pretty basic. You just take the feet and rotate them out here. Uh, you take the joystick section and you rotate that out this way. And then the joystick is like attached to his thumb there. So I generally just like rotate it forward so his hand is facing forward. But if you wanted to have him out at the side like this, like he's just standing with his palm facing you, which I think is kind of weird, but you could do that. And then the claw cleverly, you know, becomes the other hand there and that works out. And then you just take the top section here pull it up and there you have uh Clossum. and uh you know he's uh he's kind of basic like he's cute but uh compared to the other like arcade renegades like eh, he's not overly thrilling of a robot like definitely it's cool to have the little claw hand there and the joystick hand on the other side but yeah he's kind of just like a basic fold out all the limbs kind of bot butt which is a little bit disappointing, I must say, compared to all the other ones, because all the other, like, at least specifically the arcade machine bot bots from the arcade renegades are just, like, all real bangers, so <laughs> it's it's kind of sucks that he's, uh, he's not quite as exciting, especially because I, I really like claw games, so it would have been a, would have been fun to have him be a little bit cooler, but articulation-wise, uh, his claw can rotate, and then this arm can also rotate, and then the hand, as you saw, can swivel. And that's, uh, that's about it, you know, kind of a basic guy. And then the head doesn't like, it kind of sinks in a little bit, but, and you can kind of wobble it back and forth, but yeah, I'd say robot mode for me probably gets a three out of five. Um, it's just, I don't know. He's kind of boring compared to the other guys. It's, it's not bad by any means, but he's just kind of a basic dude. Uh, and then alt mode, I think. I think I'm going to give the alt mode a four out of five because um, I, I do respect, you know, what it's trying to do and like the sort of difficulty of getting a good claw machine and having, you know, both the interior and exterior on like a solid opaque toy. So like I, I get it, but, uh, you know, it, it I don't think like I it, it could have been a little bit cooler if it was, you know, if they'd come up with a bit more of a clever solution. But it's hard to fault them for that because I can't imagine how they would have done that. But I, I think you still get the point across once you pick them up and turn them around and see it. And I really do like the details there of the uh, the little like other bot bots from previous series being the toys that he grabs. I think we've got uh, who is that? I think that's either the cupcake yeah, I think that's a cupcake vampire. It's weird because he's got like waffling, so it sort of looks like he's maybe supposed to be the the plot father, the cannoli guy. But definitely that chest is what the uh, what Frostferati looks like. So I don't know. And I think back there is Stinkosaurus Rex must be. Then that looks like 
uh, Point Dexter, and then the camera guy, S.A. Cheese, I think his name is, and then I'm not sure who that is. That guy I don't recognize, but definitely, a, you know, a bot bot from a previous series. But yeah, so, you know, I like that tempo, so I think that it is going to make me give the alt mode a 4 out of 5, and then transformation is, of course, normal, average, so 3 out of 5, which is going to give Colossum an overall score of... 10 out of 15, which makes him a three-star bot bot. So yeah, a little bit average, especially compared to, uh, you know, some of the other guys that I like a little bit better in the uh, in the Arcade Renegades. But, you know, he's just because I'm comparing him to some better guys doesn't mean he isn't still a fun little guy. So yeah, pretty pretty average, but not bad. There we have Clawsome from Series 3.